morning, everyone. I think I'm uh, going live here. Hopefully, everybody can hear me. So we got about a minute before we'll get moving in with this here. 659, according to my computer. So. So uh, just a reminder tonight, we have uh, church services, uh, both <clears throat> live and online. So 4.30 uh, Bible study at 5.30. Bible study will be also on mark and then also 6.30 service for you too. So lots of lots of mark on this uh, second midweek service in our Lent. So glad you guys are, are there to be with us through this. <clears throat> okay, seven o'clock is what I have. So title today is the Jesus family. Uh, as we continue with Mark uh, three, uh, starting at verse 31, going into uh, the early parts of chapter four. So, uh, and Jesus mother and his brothers came and standing outside, they sent to him and called him. And a crowd was sitting around him. And they said to him, your mother and your brothers are outside seeking you. And he answered them, who are my mother and my brothers? And looking at about and looking about at those who sat around him, he said, here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God, he is my brother and sister and mother. Again, he began to teach beside the sea. A very large crowd gathered about him so that he got in a boat and sat in it on the sea. And the whole crowd was beside the sea on the land. And he was teaching them many things in parables. And in his teachings, he said to them, listen, a sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some feed fell along the path and the birds came and devoured it. Other seed fell on the rocky ground where it did not have much soil. And immediately it sprang up since it had no depth of soil. And when the sun rose, it was scorched. And since it had no root, it withered away. Other seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no grain. And other seeds fell into good soil and produced grain, growing up and increasing and yielding thirtyfold and sixtyfold and a hundredfold. And he said, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. Well, as again, we're talking about Jesus and family here, right? Uh, there's a lot of ways that, which you can identify as being part of a family. It can, by, it can be by birth or it can be by adoption or sometimes you even hear of people speaking of uh, extended family, like they're, they're adopted, even though they're not technically adopted, but they adopt them as a, as a mom or a father or something along the lines of that. Um, oftentimes cousins can be a little bit closer uh, like brothers and sisters too. So there's a lot of ways to be, I, I guess that you could say you identify with family. Um, but, it, but it is one thing to claim to be a part of the family of God. And another thing is according to what Jesus is saying here, uh, to be in the family. Um, so these are challenging words from Jesus for sure, uh, uh that he said. And, and again, I, I, if we, expounded upon this, you know, in depth, there's a, a lot of people that say that uh, James actually, the brother of Jesus wrote James. And so uh, we're not to be led that uh, none of Jesus' families ever took him seriously or believed in him as their savior. I, I don't think that that's what the text is saying here at all, but rather it gets us back focusing, what does it really mean to be in Jesus' family? And I think the parable of the sower really shows what it means to be. So I think a couple of good things that we should highlight out of that, um, as especially since we're a little bit in our stewardship drive, uh, some of you have been uh, receiving those stewardship things in the mail uh, with some words of encouragement from Matt. And so again, uh, what we learn here is that in, in this stewardship thing, whether it's time, talents, treasures, or telling, um, God gives to each of us uh, and blesses each of us in different ways. And, and in those different ways are the ways that we're meant to serve. Um, one of the things that we always want to remember, um, and I think this par parable highlights it pretty well, is that um, when it comes to doing Jesus' kingdom work, we, we, just, we just need to be you know, reckless when we, when we are 
doing Jesus kingdom work, right? So we don't pick on who we think might receive the gospel or uh, who we think might be more receptive or who it might be a better person to fit into the team Jesus family. No, that's not how it goes, right? I mean, um, any farmer will tell you that that is not the way you plant seed. You plant the seed where you know the seed's going to grow and produce a crop. Um, but Jesus uses this example that says that, you know, we're not the ones that know this. The Holy Spirit's the one that knows this. Uh, so we just simply plow the fields, just um, share God's word, um, live our life for Christ and let our light reflect in this dark world uh, because we never know what fruit that that's going to bear and and how that might impact somebody's life for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and how that can change them. So again, this is kind of a quick text that we had here today a little bit. Um, so not, a, I mean, there's a lot there. <laughs> there's certainly a lot there. Uh, but again, just uh, remembering, uh, especially how it ends, right? He who has ears to hear, let him hear. And that's what uh, Lent's all about. Uh, we hear God's word. We return to the Lord, our God, and we uh, dedicate our life to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, living for him because he has called us. He has made us his own through his death and resurrection. Um, so we don't have to worry about us. We just uh, live our life for Christ and, and let our love, let Christ's love reflect through us to the rest of the world. All right. So, again, this comes in real important to where our discipleship journey, one of our main things about, you know, praying for those names on the list, those 1002 prayers. Um, so uh, remember that's Luke 10 02 is where Jesus says, pray for the Lord of the harvest. And this, this all ties in real nicely together. So let's begin with a word of prayer on this, uh, midweek Wednesday in Lent. So gracious heavenly father, we know that you are the giver of all good gifts and that you give to your people according, uh, to, uh, to, to your purposes. So Lord, we ask that you would help us to use our gifts in service to you and your kingdom. We remember those names that we are praying for on our 1002 lists. We ask that you would just, again, soften those hearts. We know that uh, the Holy Spirit can work in powerful ways, um, as you described in the parable of the sower. So just uh, help us to be ready uh, for when that opportunity to share the hope that's inside of us with those names on our list uh, presents an opportunity. And we pray that you would just bear, bear fruit for your um, harvest, um, not that we're glorified, but that you are glorified in and through um, your work. So we ask this all for the sake of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. All right, folks, we'll hopefully see you tonight, um, whether it's online or live or what have you, and uh, have a blessed week in the Lord. Bye.